Hello, my friends. I'm Bruce Larson, and I'm the IRC Tire Guide. Today, we are on to episode eight of our 10-part progression series featuring Mark Aikida and myself. Now, this is designed for you guys to follow along weekly and guaranteed by episode 10 to feel and show progression in your riding. I can guarantee it will help you. Today, we're talking getting unstuck. This is one of the most important techniques that everybody does wrong. Uh, everybody runs into situations where they're stuck. Am I correct? Mark says, yes, definitely. Your understanding of how to get unstuck is going to save you energy, it's gonna save you time, and uh, man, it, 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 truthfully, it just makes you look less dumb when you're on the trail. I see so many guys pushing and fighting with their bike when they can just do a couple simple things to help them move that machine forward. I'm gonna show you how to do this. <laughs> now notice here. Stuck, okay? I'm kind of making myself stuck, but stuck nonetheless. Instead of here and fighting and pushing the bike like everybody does and look like a big dummy, what do we do? We pull that machine back. You can see here, we have distance in between. We want to find momentum, right? It's all about, this game is about momentum. One inch equals momentum. So always pull your machine back. Now, we start with our foot on the peg. Notice where my weight is. I'm starting with my weight back. This is counterintuitive. Most guys start with their weight here. If your weight is here, you have nowhere to go. You can't drive your weight any further forward. So if you give it gas and release the clutch and that bike goes, your weight is already all the way forward. Therefore, you can't move it any more forward. Therefore, you either wheelie over or let off. That's why we move our weight back. This is called preemptive movement. We initiate the movement with our body, then the bike moves. So it's basically three steps here. After we've pulled our machine back to get it ready for momentum, we have our weight back. We, we're low, we've got a slight load on the engine. We stand up onto the pegs, drive our weight forward, release the clutch, okay? One, two, three. Stand up onto the pegs, drive our weight forward, release the clutch. It's one, two, three. It happens very, very fast. Okay, you don't want to be up onto the pegs and balancing. It's up onto the pegs, move forward, release the clutch, okay? So here we are. Doesn't take much throttle. We're back. Notice how I do this. How do you feel about that, champ? Obviously super good. So, <laughs> something about your silence, dude. It's just... <laughs> All right, so <laughs> he's... uh. He's got a lot of focus on this. You saw there, right? One, two, three. Up onto the pegs, drive our weight, release the clutch. What happens there is as I drive my weight forward, that initiates that movement. As I release the clutch, the front end comes up. Well, because I'm initiating that weight forward, as the front end comes up, my weight catches it and pushes it back down. Do you see what I'm saying? Then the weight comes kind of back naturally to hold traction over. You'll see me do that if I hit a rock, if I hit an obstacle, it's all about that movement, back, forward, back, right? So we're driving that weight, releasing the clutch. It's kind of like a wave, okay? And this is something you wanna kind of understand here, is kind of do it right next to you here, Mark. When I drive my weight, I drive my weight forward at the same speed I release the clutch. So what I mean by that is it's kind of like you ever see, you know, during a sports game or whatever, they're doing the wave. Or a better analogy would be Salt Lake City uh, Supercross when Malcolm was trying to catch Barsha. As they were going around the track, the crowd was doing a wave. It was so amazing. That wave is what we do with our body. We drive our weight, and as that weight hits its maximum, we release. And that release of the clutch is coming at the same speed. Does that make sense? So it's a lot of drive, it's a lot of release. Doesn't take too much throttle. I honestly did way more than, than enough. I just wanted you to hear it. So, oh, to get that movement, okay? So I'm sure Mark's not gonna say anything because, you know, I love when my students do that. It's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. I'm just like, hey man, how do you feel? Hmm, silence, stoic, <laughs> respect, okay. So pull on around. This is a great place to start when you're trying to learn this, right? We don't want to start on a big obstacle. We're going to start on something very easy, just a little hole, trying to get yourself out of it, trying to find that 
coordination and movement that's required. Toes in, Mark. There you go. Up onto the pegs, move your weight forward, release the clutch. Hey! Not too bad. Not too bad. Very good. So he threw a little bit of a, kind of a lot of hips, right? Where we kind of want to stand up straight. Come forward. When you moved your weight, you moved at the right time, your timing was good. We just kind of did this little bit of like a, right? The weight, your hips are throwing forward, okay? We're always holding our hips in that hinged position. Even when we're standing up straight, we're still hinging, right? So notice my movement. I'm up, but I'm not driving like this, okay? So set up again. Other than that, it was, it was pretty dang good. <laughs> Real quick. I want to show you one more thing. Notice how much energy Mark is using to back up. Now, something we can do, I'll show you here. We use our rear brake. So you're, you've got a habit of putting your left foot down, or sorry, your, your right foot down. I can see you're more comfortable with that. A, a big thing about that is, is you don't have the ability to use your rear if you're doing it that way. I mean, obviously you want to be able to have both feet down. That's, that's, but we always practice everything double, right? Now, with my right foot on the peg, I'm covering the rear brake and I drive my weight forward to compress the suspension and then I release the rear brake with my movement back, okay? See what I'm saying? So now we can really move that bike efficiently without using a lot of energy, okay? The next time you do it, I want you to kind of use that rear compression and rebound to assist in moving that bike, all right? You're in good position. I want to see some nice straight drive forward. So now what we're going to do is now that he's starting to feel that movement, we're going to at, we're going to up the ante a little bit, right? I want you to do one more, Mark. One more. One more. A little further forward. Right there. Oop, okay, now we're going to use that rear. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful job. See how much better that is, Mark? Hey, that ain't bad, though. Still good. I'm, your movement's good, man. Doing well. A little more. Right there. Much better with your feet now. I like that. There you go. A little bit of the hips, but that was still good. All right, so we've moved on to a little bit of an obstacle. Now, this is how we practice this. I always like, I always recommend using a hole, something safe, and then we just kind of slowly, slowly progress, right? Now, honestly, the hole is probably the same size as this. This isn't that much bigger, but the mental side of it being a rock makes it a little more challenging. Also, we have a more abrupt drop, so it's kind of important here. If you notice here, if I pull my clutch in, my bike moves, right? So we have to be able to slip a little bit into that front brake, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do here, same thing. You're gonna see my weight drive forward, up onto the pegs, drive my weight forward, release the clutch. One thing I wanna say is, I noticed a couple of times we were spinning on that rear because he's dropping his clutch just a little bit too fast. So smooth that drop. Think of it like it's the speed your body is moving forward. That's the same rate. It's kind of a signal. That movement forward is a signal to your finger to release the clutch. Does that make sense? I set up here, weight back. Notice where my front tire is. It's right on the edge, right? My weight is back. I'm gonna drive my weight forward. Up onto the pegs, drive my way forward, release the clutch. Okay, here we go. Do you notice there the movement in my legs? I'm standing straight up. I'm almost locking my knees out to really press down and hold that traction over the lock. The more straight up you can stand and down you can, through those pegs you can push, the smoother you're going to get over this, okay? How are you feeling? This is a little bigger. This is a little bit bigger. And like, you know, I'm just gonna answer for it. <laughs> He's not gonna say anything anyway. How you feeling? Well, I'm a little bit nervous, Rich. Well, man, sometimes, as they say, sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
All right, Mark, get get going, okay? Okay, Rich, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Hard drive up. Stand up on those pegs, nice and smooth on the clutch. Ride it out as if you were riding away, okay, buddy? <laughs> Not bad. So, we saw there, you just drove your weight early before you released. You kind of didn't commit to that release. So, a little bit earlier with the release. Your weight drive is good, it looks good. But we gotta get that clutch out a little earlier. It's basically right when you're centered up on that bike, boom, I wanna see that release, okay? There you go, that's good position. Hold your front brake. Slip your clutch into your front. There you go. So this is a hard thing for guys to do, right? Hold throttle, hold uh, front brake, and slip clutch. That's perfect. Drive your weight, smooth release on the clutch, like you're riding away. Yeah! All right, Mark! That's an intimidating thing, man. We're a little bit steeper than we were in the hole. We have an up rather than kind of a flat with the hole, right? So. That was a big step forward for Mark. Nice. That is beautiful position. Smooth movement forward, smooth release on the clutch. I want you to commit to this one, okay? Drive your weight through those pegs. Stand up nice and straight. Straight and true, Mark. Yeah! That was great. That was beautiful. So much more confident. So much more control. You felt that one. Yeah, you could feel that one was much better. We're still finding that timing. So what I would recommend you to do, again, we, you've got about 10 things you can work on as we've moved forward through this stuff. I would work that hole, right? Where we started, find yourself a nice, you know, just a little step of dirt somewhere. Put that front tire on it, drive that weight forward. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Find that drive. That's the feeling that you're looking for. And this is a little bit, I mean, honestly, I, I stepped it up a little bit, a little bit too high, but you stepped up to the occasion, man. Nice job, that was really, really solid. That's a solid, you know, foot that we had to go up to get up that rock. You held traction, you moved your weight. We just need to find that timing and fine tune this stuff. This is a solid drill to repeat over and over for everyone. Because these situations are the situations where you're gonna save the most energy if you have that ability to get unstuck. You did a good job. How you feeling there, Silent Bob? Yeah, Silent Bob's feeling good today. That was a, uh, you know, a quick one, but you made such solid progressions, man. I'm stoked on it. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm feeling good about it. Uh... <laughs> It's distracting. The silence is distracting and I need to fill it because I'm insecure. <laughs> Guys, next episode is going to be a doozy. We've done eight episodes. We've got two more to go for you guys. Make sure you're following along week by week. I hope you guys are feeling the progression that Mark is feeling. I hope you guys are seeing the progression that I'm seeing. Mark is nailing it here and this next drill is by far my favorite by far, of all the drills, this is by far my favorite drill. Next week's episode is a fun one. It's called Gate Drills, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. So make sure you guys are following along. Hammer down, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And until next time, keep shredding.